Welcome to Tamar Bowling Video Ball Reviews. We need your support, so if you like what we do, please support us by joining our Patreon page. Let me introduce our new partner, Haley's Pro Shop. A big thank you to Jeff Miller and Ron Hoppy. Don't forget to check out Haley's Pro Shop in Burlington, Washington for world-class drilling and coaching. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for joining us for another preview. I think there might be some excitement bubbling up for this ball. Um, so let's see what the hype is about. We're going to look at the Storm Pitch Purple. Given the success of the Hammer Purple Urethane, every manufacturer has been looking to come up with their version of a purple ball. Um, yeah, whether it's actually purple uh, or not, like in the case of Storm or previous attempts like the Fever Pitch or some different concoction like Motive's friction covers on the Covert Tank and Tank Blitz. Now, manufacturers are looking for smoothness that you get out of urethane while still getting that slightly, slightly higher energy storage or retention and hit from reactive. You know, some might call these cheater balls. I, I mean, I guess it, it doesn't really matter what you call it, but they work. So what do we have with the Pitch Purple? Let's start with the core. Um, the capacitor core continues in this ball as we've seen with some other pitch balls. Um, in terms of the specs, we have 256RG023 differential for 16 pound, 257022 for 15 pound, uh, 259022 for 14 pound. In this regard, you have basically the same weight block influence on all three weights. And again, I'll always call that out because I do throw 14 a lot, um, so that's important to me. And what's clear is that if you want urethane to work more effectively, generally speaking, higher RGs and lower diffs are a good way to go. Um, you get the core to go a bit longer before stabilizing while keeping flare reduced um, to complement that controlled continuous ball motion you're looking for. A few balls like the Hot Cell, the Black Widow Urethane, Covert Tank, um, they buck that trend a little bit. Um, but there's a reason why the Pitch Black or the Purple Urethane or Black Urethane continue to be used on TV. Um, the low, low flare does have a tendency to carry oil down lane and eventually causes problems for itself and other bowlers, but that's a topic for another time. Now with the cover, Storm pushes the pitch purple out with the new, what they call Rev Control Urethane cover stock. In their uh, uh, cover chart, it's their strongest urethane cover and, and it's sitting between the R2S uh, covers and the reactor reactive resin covers um, and what we've seen in the videos so far put out by storm is that it sure looks a lot like urethane um, or or let's say it's clearly it's a urethane plus reaction um, i don't want to speculate much on you know what i'll see until we actually get to throw it the biggest thing i worry about is people actually understanding when or how to use urethane or anything urethane like in general I mean, it's hard to tell people how shots generally aren't when to use urethane. I know how shots hook like crazy and people want to control the reaction, uh, but urethane reads the lane much earlier than reactive. So sometimes the last thing you want is when the lanes are already dry to use something that reads even earlier and that could push you in, uh, you know, open up, up your angles where then you don't have back end. So again, maybe, you know, a, a story for another time. Um, but you know, if, if we step back from the, from all of that, I mean, the urethane craze seems not likely to go away. Um, the high rev bowlers will continue to look for tools to help with control. Um, the rest of us will continue to wish we could throw them as effectively, right? Um, you know, I mean, just all jokes aside, I, I'm actually looking forward to testing this as a lefty who bowls a lot of sports shots. Um, and I and one of the areas I struggle with is. You know, finding an option that works to control medium length, higher volume patterns. So say 38 to 40, um, where I can play straighter the way a lefty should. Um, and so, you know, I, I, I will recall the fever pitch for me was a little too niche. Um, I did enjoy the covert tank and the tank blitz um, as they offered a different look. Um, so pitch purple should be interesting. Looking forward to it. Thanks for watching and look out for the review video soon.